Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big uh, nerd, but on top of that, I'm also a big fan of the old um, Uncle Scrooge, Donald Duck, Walt Disney comics and stories stuff. Um, and then much, much later, those were in the like 40s and 50s, and then much, much later in the 1980s, they made DuckTales, and then they made video games based off of DuckTales. So today we're going to be playing the sequel to DuckTales, DuckTales 2 on NES. I picked this up uh, semi-recently. These were lithographs that were made in the 80s off of um, panels from the comics in the 1950s. So here we have... Uh, this is Damn Disaster at Money Lake, which is off of the first Uncle Scrooge full issue, where the Beagle Boys burst the dam, and because Uncle Scrooge is hiding his money in the dam, um, to get it away from the Beagle Boys, um, and that kind of thing. He's always trying to hide his money away from the Beagle Boys. But how did he get his money? He got his money a lot of times from traveling around the world. He'd travel all over the world with Donald, and Donald would be the pilot. And Uncle Scrooge would, you know, they'd go to far off places. Just like you'll see here, they're gonna travel to all these far off places in the game and to collect more money, right? Just like the first DuckTales game, you go to the Amazon, the Himalayas, all that kind of thing. So, um, you know, these games are based off of the cartoon show from the 80s, but, um, I know that the, because I've read all the original comics, they're just far better written, better all around. But um, the reason I wanted to play DuckTales 2 tonight, I had a reason to play this. I, I have played this before, but the, the reason I wanted to play this is because I saw an announcement. We have a DuckTales announcement that came out. So I was like, oh, DuckTales announcement. So did you guys see the announcement? I'm going to tell you about it. And Jeremy1337, thank you very much for the sub. So, basically, whenever you, you tell a blowjob story, you call it a suck tail. So anyway, um, they made an announcement that in uh, Epcot Center in Disney World, there was a place that used to be there, once again, back in the 80s. They would they had to have all these pavilions. One's called The Land, the one was Universe of Energy, uh, there was Horizons and all these rides and stuff. But one of the places was this place, Wonders of Life, which is extinct now, and now it's just an empty building that just sits there. So, Two or three years ago, they made an announcement about this, and they said, in this place, they're going to rebrand it, and it's going to be DuckTales. It'll be a place where you can go meet the characters and whatever. Stuff would go on. You can, you can, you can meet all the DuckTales people or whatever, some kind of uh, play place or something for little kids. And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so that was, that was that pavilion. So I was like, okay. So... Now, it's now 2023, and I see this announcement, and they say, okay, update on the DuckTales thing that was going to happen. I'm like, oh, I thought, I didn't think they were even going to finish that, but okay, what's the deal? So, if you haven't, some people haven't been to Disney and all that, so I want to show something for the people who haven't been there. So, on the bottom half of the park, it has all the rides and, like, Spaceship Earth the land and all these rides and stuff. On the top half of the park, you have all the countries. So they try to make it like, oh, just visit Disney World and you can go see the whole world. Why why go to all the countries in the world when you can just go to Disney World and you can see everything, right? That's like kind of the idea of it, right? Um, so, because, like, look, at, like once again, like in this game here, um, oh, the map was just up, but, uh, 
Scrooge travels all over the world, collects collects his riches and all that. So they thought of the idea. They're like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have you start here, and you you, you meet Uncle Scrooge and with Huey, Dewey, and Louie and all this stuff. And then from there, you walk around the country or you go around the world with Scrooge and you stop at the different places and you go on a scavenger hunt. And I was like, oh, that's actually not a bad idea because, you know, the ducks are an original Disney IP. Meaning, like, you know, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, the things they actually, like, made themselves, like, their famous creations. In recent years, they've been more, like, they buy, they buy The Simpsons and they buy Star Wars and, and all this kind of stuff. And so at least, even though the DuckTales cartoon isn't my favorite, like, I like the old comics, at least I was like, oh, they're doing something with one of their own IPs. Okay, that's, like, better than they usually do. So I was like, okay, I can. I think I can actually get behind that, right? I can get behind that. Go around the world, collect treasure with Uncle Scrooge. Sounds okay, right? Okay. Then I read the article. So this is what it's gonna be. So you get on a plane, and it's expensive to to go down to, you know, you get on a plane. You buy your tickets for thousands of dollars, and then you get your park tickets and all this. And then uh, they got your they got the genie app already, which you gotta use going through the park. So you're already looking at your phone a lot. So Ducktales is not going to be meet Uncle Scrooge and go around the world with Uncle Scrooge. It's going to be an app on your phone, and that's it. It's an app. It's on your phone. It's an app. Good job. Once again, doing a nice, great, great job on uh, on that lazy, lazy. Sounds about right. Yeah. So more looking at your phone. Why? Why get on a plane and travel to Florida to look at your phone? You gotta make physical things. It's like they, they did the same thing with um, Spaceship Earth. You get on Spaceship Earth and you go through that and they, they ripped out the second half of the ride and they put in a bunch of like iPads and then they have you like playing a game on the screen on the iPad thing and it's like, it used to be like this like sort of crystal thing you'd go through. It was like cool to look at and everything and you're like, oh, this is cool. And now it's like, oh, look at the iPad. Yo, I got an iPad sitting right here. If I want to look at an iPad, why do I have to travel to Florida to look at a fucking iPad? So here's here you go. You can go to Florida and you can look at your fucking phone. Also, by the way, one of the, one of the the greatest um, franchises and things that Disney ever did. This is now what it, it has been reduced to. A shitty app. So you know what it really is? You want to know what the real idea is? So here you go. I'll tell you why this exists. So, here, let me bring up the other thing. So, okay, here's the map, right? So, you're like, you're, you're in Canada, right? And you're like a parent, and you're walking around, and you're going to Canada, and you go to the United Kingdom, and you're, you're going around, you got your kids. And by the time you get to, like, you know, France or something, the, the kids are like, I'm bored. Can we go to, like, on the Tower of Terror or something? Or, like, can we go to Magic Kingdom? And they're like, oh, we're going to, this is about learning. And, and the kids are like, ugh. And then you get to the American Adventure, and it's like, there's, like, Abraham Lincoln and shit, and the kids are like, ugh. They're like, we wanted to see, like, uh, you know, Aladdin and shit. And they're like, they're like, listen, this, this shit was expensive. We took you down here. You're going to enjoy, you're going to enjoy it. And they're like, I don't want to, I don't want to. And they're like, look, 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 here, 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 here. Tell you what, here, tell you what, Jimmy, here, here you go. Here's what, here's what, take my phone and why don't you, why don't you look at this and, uh, and, and with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and you can find you can find something. 
<laughs> and then they're like, oh, okay. You know, it's a distraction thing for kids being bored in the park. That's what one of their best franchises has been reduced to. And that's now in 2023. In my opinion, this franchise was already reduced because DuckTales added in, thank you very much, uh, Death by Frog for the sub. DuckTales added in characters like Launchpad and Webby and all these characters that weren't in the comics. So it was, it was already reduced by that point. So I want to explain to you real quick why Launchpad McQuack sucks as a character. I'll tell you why. A couple things. Uh, so in the comics, if, if they needed to go anywhere, the whole idea of Scrooge is that Scrooge is cheap, right? And the joke is that, oh, we got to go to, uh, you know, uh, Ireland in this comic or something. And then, so it's like, okay, get on the boat or get on the plane. And then, hey, Donald, I'm going to pay you five cents. And that's all you get. You know, and now you're gonna go get on the, get on the thing and start driving the ship, and then Donald has to figure out how to drive the fucking thing. It's all about Scrooge being like cheap. That's like the joke. Cut to Ducktales. What they've done is uh, they make it so Launchpad McQuack uh, just he just crashes the plane. It's just like idiot like slapstick humor. So and the, but the bigger problem is this. The bigger this is forget all that. This is the bigger problem. So. What they did is not only did they replace Donald, because it's all supposed to revolve around Donald. What they did was they replaced Gladstone Gander. Now, let me tell you why Gladstone Gander is important in the Duck universe. Gladstone Gander is important because Donald Duck is very unlucky, right? He's like, <laughs> you know, like right? he's always pissed off. And why is Donald Duck always having throwing a temper tantrum? Because things are always going wrong for Donald Duck, right? He's supposed to be like the everyman. Like, you can relate to Donald because things suck, and everything sucks, and Donald's pissed off about it, right? So he's very relatable. On the other end, you had Gladstone Gander in the comics, and Gladstone was very lucky, and everything went right for Gladstone all the time. He's the opposite of Donald. And why that's a good character, because it, it Gladstone teaches you that some people get to go life through life on a free ride. Like, life isn't fucking fair. And you might look at this guy down the street and be like, God, why does that guy down the street have it so easy? Why are they so rich? Why do they get everything so easily? They didn't even work for it. Life isn't fair. And that's the lesson that they're teaching with that. Meanwhile, cut to the DuckTales cartoon show, and you have Launchpad McQuack smashing into the side of a building. Okay? Then top it off with... Um, shittier characters like adding in superheroes like fucking Gizmo Duck and um, fucking uh, Bubba Duck Caveman now now it's been reduced to da, 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 da. so it was, it was already reduced to a lesser form in the 80s and now you have you have this So things just progressively get worse and worse and worse and worse. Once again, I recommend going back and reading the original comics. You go read the original comics from the 1940s and 50s. And then if you read all those, then go and read Don Rosa's stuff, too. And those are from the 80s, and that's like the continuation of those comics. Those are all fantastic. This, this shit right here is a disgrace. It's a, dis it's a disgrace. So today we'll be playing DuckTales, too. That's my introduction. Thank you, Mazarki, for the sub. It's called change, don't like it, but have to accept it. Oh, I don't have to accept shit. I, and neither do you, because guess what? You can go on Amazon right now or websites and you can go get the comics and you can read the comics instead of going to the park. 
instead of going to Epcot Center and going around and doing this bullshit, you know what you can do? You can sit at home and you can order yourself the comics and you can, do, you can sit and you can do this shit instead. You don't have to accept shit. Don't bow down and let them fuck you in the ass. Take control. All right, let's get to the game. This is DuckTales 2. Mike's making us feel better about never leaving the house. Yes, see, I'm trying to help you out. No more getting fucked in the ass, got it, Mike. Yes, that, that's what that was all about. I wanted you to know that you don't have to get fucked in the ass if you don't want to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so anyway, we're going to travel around in the different countries in this game and whatever. Anyway, so uh, these games I like, though. Uh... These, these are good games. Capcom did a good job. By the way, they dressed uh, Scrooge in red, which makes me very happy because Scrooge is supposed to be in red, for one thing. See, DuckTail, that bothers me too, as they do the coloring or whatever. Not that, that I mean, that's a very minor thing, but. Uh, Armus FM, thank you very much for that tier one sub. Appreciate that. Armus. FM subbed and says, I'll take control by subscribing to Mike Matei Live. Better than getting fucked in the ass. I mean, hey, that could be that could be the um, the motto. That's the motto for this channel. My, Mike Matei Live. Well, oh, it's better than getting fucked in the ass. Thanks. I, I guess, I guess it's better than that. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I'm drunk. I mean, maybe it is, uh, maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't really know, actually. Irabu, thank you for the tier one sub. Should put that on a t-shirt. Oh, that's what I should sell. Thank you, Al Raz, for the bits. Sorry if I missed anybody else for subbing. If you subbed, thank you very much. And and now on to the game. So it's uh, it's been it's been a while since I played this one. Uh, this one's this is a rare uh, NES game. I don't really know why. It's like it's like Mega Man 2 isn't rare, right? Capcom popular franchise. Why did DuckTales 2 become rare? It's like this is this is a good game. You know, like why did that this game become a rare game? I don't really quite get why it would have, but uh, but it is for whatever reason. Who knows who that is? Who is it? Let's see who got gets it. Ducktales two. No, that's the name of the game. Louie? No, it's not Louie. Huey? No, it's not. It's not Huey. Dookie. That's not one of the... Well, there's only one left, so yeah, it was Dewey. Great job. Oh, now they're all saying it's Dewey. After I told you. See, Glorious Gaming says, oh, that's Dewey. So listen, Huey's red, 
Dewey's blue, Louie's green, sometimes yellow. And in the uh, comics, uh, they were all just colored in with black shirts, actually. And so was Donald. All right, here we go. Mega Man boss time. And that's what it's all about. This boss isn't canon. Um, it's the, uh, I mean, you're not wrong, it's not. But you know what, in the original game, the guy in the Amazon is not cam canon. Um, Magicka is. Uh, the king of the Terra Fermis is. That's from Land Beneath the Ground. And, um, Earthquack is the name of the DuckTales episode of it. And then, uh, the Himalaya one actually also is canon. There, there is, um, a story where they go to find the lost crown of Genghis Khan. That's canon. Um... When they go, the ducks do, in the comics, travel to outer space quite a bit, um, but the going to the moon with the cheese, that is not canon. So the, so the Amazon and the moon are not canon in the first DuckTales game, but the other ones are. So they're, And Dracula Duck is not either, by the way. But then they throw in Flint Heart at the end. They should just had it be Flint Heart instead of... They didn't want, you know what, they were late. they didn't want to design a new, that's my criticism of the first DuckTales game. They, at the end, they have you go back just to Magicka's again, and then you fight Dracula Duck, which isn't even a thing. How about, they should just have a whole boss fight with, like, Flint Heart Glumgold instead. That would have made way more sense. Or Chisel McSue. Why the fuck is Chisel McSue not in there? It's ridiculous, I'm telling you. Totally radical, thank you very much for the sub. See? They're, they're, this is why I get the good subs, guys, because uh, I, I, get, I give you those deep cuts like Chisel McSue. DuckTales is kind of dumb because it's a ripoff of Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, but Indiana Jones is from the 80s, and Indiana Jones is a ripoff of 8 million things, including DuckTales is one of the things. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube you can watch about the things that inspired Indiana Jones, but it's not really a ripoff. See, Indiana Jones is a parody of all those things, uh, but d including DuckTales. So, you're wrong. Who doesn't want more Indiana Jones, though? Um, I do. I, I Actually, I hope this is the only the beginning of us seeing Harrison Ford play Indiana Jones. I hope it ramps up now. Because you think, like, oh, he's too old to start playing Indiana Jones, or to keep playing Indiana Jones. But tell you what, when uh, we're talking about DuckTales here, when Carl Barks started doing the uh, created Uncle Scrooge and all that, he was, in, he was like in his like mid-40s, and he just started making them then. So he's making them into his 50s, 60s, 70s. This painting I just showed you, that he was like in his 80s doing that. So Harrison Ford, I think, should... He should only be at the beginning of doing... I think most of the Indiana Jones franchise should be him as an old man. I hope they make like 20 movies in the span of the next 10 years. I like. I hope they pop them out as quick as like Dwayne The Rock Johnson pops out movies. I want it to be like that now. Like three a year. Let's go. Three a year. Let's go. That's what I want. And I want. They can be like really cheap, bad green screen, the whole thing. Make it like shit. Fuck it. Because I mean, it's already bad. So I think the only thing you can do with it now is just make a complete fucking mockery out of it. 
So why don't they do that? Three a year. In the theater, too, though. I don't want it to be some, like, Netflix shit. I want them in the fucking movie theater. That's what I would do with it. I was just supposed to buy something there or something, right? I don't even, I wasn't paying attention. Hang on a second. No, I do not want to go there. I want to go to one of these other places. Okay, let's go here, I guess. And thank you, Classic Mike Cade, for gifting subs out. Gifted out subs to Garrett. Zeph Till Death. Ghost Surf. And Sir Lancelot, thank you very much for that. AI indie only. Oh yeah, like the AI is getting so good. Uh, everything's gonna be like AI. So you won't need people anymore. You're just gonna have the a AI. You see this like on American Idol and all this. You're gonna be. You're gonna tune into like I don't know. Uh, uh, anything. You go to watch uh, like uh, Jimmy Kimmel or something, and he, he won't. He won't be there anymore. It'll just be like AI, and they'll just have some. The the computer will just make up the jokes or whatever. You won't have to do any of it. The actors. You won't need the act. They're already starting to do that. I mean, look at the. Look at the end of, what was it, the Rogue One, and you got Princess Leia and shit, and then, like, in Mandalorian, you got, like, Mark Hamill from the 1970s coming out. It's like, what? So everything's, every, like, everything's fucked now. You don't need people anymore. Just have the computer do it. It's just like, when you go to Disney World, why would you want to walk around the Epcot countries with an actual Scrooge, like you would have done maybe in the, in the 80s? You could walk around the park with the characters or something like that. No. You're going to do this. You're going to take your phone out. And you're going to stare at your fucking phone. After you've paid thousands of dollars for hotel rooms, tickets, plane tickets, and food, and your time, for you to look at your phone. Now I got my I got a phone sitting right here I, that I can look at. So tell me why I gotta go there and do that. I was really lucky that that happened right there. It happened to be a lightning bolt. Is, Gla is Gladstone Gander around here? See, they, they should have had that be Gladstone Gander. If Gladstone Gander was a part of DuckTales, you know how much more sense that would have made right there? Because Gladstone would have been like, oh, it's a good thing I'm so lucky that a, a bolt of lightning struck, not Dewey. That doesn't make sense. You put Gladstone there, and then, you see? Oh, isn't that fortunate that that happened? Well, that's because I'm the luckiest duck. That makes sense. That doesn't. You want to talk about Webby, too? You, you want to know what Webby and Mrs. Beakley replaced? You know, you know, do you know? Anybody want to guess what Webby replaced? In the, in the DuckTales cartoon? Let me see if I made a guess. What did Webby replace? Sploogy? No, not Sploogy. Although that was a great character. Alright, nobody, nobody's guessing. Nobody knows. That's right, actually. Junkhead got it. That's right. Daisy. Thank you. Somebody actually did fucking guess. Yeah. In the comics, it was Daisy. And Daisy was actually a good... Uh, another. See, they were all characters that were related to Donald in one way or the other. Donald was the star of it. it this is... DuckTales is like... See, DuckTales took out Donald. 
Donald's in like a couple episodes here and there, but he should be like a main element to the show, but he's not. They took it out. Um, so like all the characters are supposed to revolve around Donald as like the focus, but they, they take Donald out, which like makes no sense. Daisy is like in relation to Donald. Scrooge is in relation to Donald. The nephews are in relation to Donald. Gladstone is in, re- it's all in relation to Donald. And DuckTales is like, oh, you know what we ought to do? We ought to take out Donald. That's like taking Jerry Seinfeld out of Seinfeld. It's like taking Captain Kirk out of Star Trek. It, it like it doesn't work. It, you like what are you doing? Oh, you know who we ought to remove the main character? And you might be like, oh, well, but that's because they wanted to focus more on Scrooge. Oh, did they want to focus more on Scrooge? Is that why they added in, like, all these other fucking new characters? These bullshit characters? And, you know, you have to have good side characters. See, Scrooge works in relation to Donald. Not this motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here is so fucking dumb. All he can fucking do, he's like, Hey, you Mr. McD. Oh, where do you want to go? And Scrooge is like, I want to go to, uh, I want to go, I, I need to fly across the country. And he's like, okay, get in. Slams into the fucking side of a building like a fucking asshole. They're like a worth, worthless, meaningless character. And then what do you and then what do you want to do on top of having a worthless meaningless character? Let's put him in a sh- now let's on top of that let's put him in a show about a superhero duck. You know and you know why this is like this? Fuck, I need to get that. You know why this is like this? Cuz a lot of the people that are in charge over at Disney and making the decisions are fans of of superhero stuff. They grew up with DC and Marvel, and that's all fine, and I like DC and Marvel, and I like Batman and all that stuff, but they are making it work like, fuck, how am I supposed to do that? They're, they're making it work like it's a fucking superhero franchise, because they don't, they don't fucking care about Disney stuff. They don't even understand it. So they're like, oh, let's make it, let's make it all fucking superhero shit. It's like, no, that's not what it's supposed to be. Why didn't he grab on that? What's going on here? Oh, it's fucking over? What is it, Limited Lives? Shit, I don't know that. Wow, okay. All right, well, I guess I'm doing that again. Shit, maybe I should start on that. Boy, that's different than DuckTales 1, isn't it? Doesn't that DuckTales 1 just go con- continues or something? Like, I don't even know. This is a, this is a harder game than that. Actually, I don't want to go to this place. I want to go to the other place first, because that was, like... I need to figure out how to get through that. The other stage was, like, easy. It's three lives. So this is three lives the whole game. I've beaten this game before. It should have been... I don't know, probably five years or something since I played this. I don't exactly remember. All I'm thinking about is that little window that Louie is in. It looks like a D-pad. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way? Like, I don't know. I guess not. Don't, don't these guys... They, that's so Capcom looking. Doesn't that look like right out of Mega Man? I wonder how many of the same, like, people worked on this game compared to, like, working on, like, the Mega Man games. Like, did the same people that worked on this game also work on, like, Mega Man, like, 4, you know? Had to basically be the same team. 
Did he get right, don't you think? Was there? Sh I was like, see, I was talking about all this shit on the, on the end of the first like level. W was there like a shop with an extra like heart piece thing, and that's how that's why I couldn't just get through that right there because I didn't fucking buy what I needed to buy. I bet that's what's going on. Which I probably fucked this up again then. Hear me? Oh, uh, uh, there you go. Oh, or I could have just done that. There you go. Nothing. And the, the way the music sounds, like that, that like exact type of, just the way the tunes are done, the chip tunes. It's like so Capcom, it's so Mega Man, you know? They just have that certain flavor that's very recognizable. There you go, at least fucking Gyro is, 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 was a part of, uh, so Gyro is definitely a big part of the comics and he, he was actually pretty well put into the show too, so I'll give him that much, they, they, they did that. I guess I need to talk to him, all right? I don't even remember what he does in this. Oh. Yeah, I have to talk to him. So we're getting fucking power-ups and shit. I don't know, you know what I'm thinking? Like, is this game better than the first one? I feel like maybe, I've always kind of like thought that. I'd be like, I think this game might be better than the first one. Because the first DuckTales is really, it's a good game. Like, I've always thought it was a really good game, but I don't know, this one might actually be better. And I've, I've played through this a couple times before, but I, I always, I play the, um, the original more usually, but. Maybe it's just that I, like, I played that one to death. Maybe it's just that I played this less. Oh shit, here we go. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in an NES game. Also, wasn't there, so he gave me that adapter. Am I supposed to go back into the level now? Oh wait, here, wait. Oh, the fucking, what, what's the safe though? Well, cake is just like, it fills up your health. Um, this shit is what I want, right? Isn't that, gives me the extra health? I think I want that. Yes, that is, yes, he, Huey, that is what I want. And what about, uh, how about the fucking continue? I don't have the money for it. I don't care, I'll spend my fucking money. I don't fucking care, I just wanna get through it. Uh, okay, now I guess I'll go back to the, we'll do this first one again. Produce three percent less milk when listening to country music. Uh, 
Is somebody playing country music for them? Is that what they're doing? Where in the in the milk factories? So you're saying, but you're saying they produce less milk if there's country music. So in like the milk factories, should should they like be? What music should they be playing for them to produce more milk? You know, you know what will make them shoot out like the the white cream like all the time. Mr. Spock's music from outer space. You walk into a milk factory and you got Mr. Spock's music from outer space playing. I guarantee you, you're gonna, all over the floor. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be like white cream everywhere. Guaranteed, guaranteed. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. But I don't think I am. Works every time. Leonard Nimoy made uh, five albums. Five or six, I think five. People will sometimes ask me what I like to listen to. I like to listen to the, the works of uh, Leonard Nimoy as far as, as far as music. That's where that's where my musical in interests begin and end. And then people say, "But I thought you like Elvis too." I, Elvis is fine or whatever. I just you know he just likes so. Hey hey mama, I like him because he's kind of funny. But no, Mr. Spock is like my serious musical interests are all about Mr. Spock's. And over here, actually over here, can, can you even see this one over here? Oh, you can't. Here, I'll take it off. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this, but. Oh. Um, it's actually fine, it's just taped. So I got this one, this is, here wait, this is another great one. So, my, th this is my musical interest. People are like, Mike, what do you like to listen to? Like seriously, like not, not joking. This is an example of what I like to listen to. But I've transferred it. So, like you could hear it on YouTube or whatever. Or I, and I, I, a long time ago, I transferred this to CD. So I just listened to this, pretty much. That's what I like. You think I'm kidding too? But did you ever see that time I was a pizza man? something not right. The good news is, I, maybe it's good news, it may, maybe it's not good news. The good news is I'm aware of it, at least. That's the good news. But maybe it isn't, don't they say ignorance is bliss? So it might be better that, it might, it, it might be better if I didn't know, so. Anyway, here's this fucking asshole. Have I told you about how a launch pad sucks and how I don't like them? I think, oh, I think I might have mentioned that. Yeah, launch pad, uh, McQuack. I don't like Mrs. Beakley either. I can't fucking stand Mrs. Beakley. And, and Webby is like, just annoying. Like, I feel, so like Huey, Dewey, and Louie, um, I know like on DuckTales, it makes them be, seem like, like goody two shoes or whatever. But like in the comics, they're just like helpful, respectful kids. The way that you would hope kids would be. 
they're like actually like likable. They're not just like these. And also, then you're also gonna see the Huey, Dewey, and Louie that are in the old cartoons. If you watch the old Donald Duck cartoons, the, that's Huey and Dewey and Louie, and they're going around on tricycles and they're being like complete assholes. That's not what they're like in the comics. In the comics, they're intelligent and they're helpful. They're kind of like Penny on Inspector Gadget, how they're just they're just good kids and they're gonna help you out, you know. And they're they just do you know it's like that. That's what Huey, Dewey, and Louie are supposed to be like. But, yeah. And on the car on the cartoon, fuck. On the cartoon, they're like, they're they're kind of annoying because they're kind of they make them out to be like goody two shoes, kind of like a little, like a little bit like annoying. Fucking, what am I? Why didn't he jump right there? Jump. I gotta, like, jump, 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 jeez, so now am I, like, gonna, like, fucking die, now I need that, now I need that, continue, here, I better, like, get serious. The point of what, I, of what I was saying is that Webby is really fucking annoying. Oh my god, I'm doing this like really badly. Didn't I do this like the first time last time? See, now I'm trying. That's the worst thing you can do. At least the worst, the worst thing I can do. When I start trying, then I start like doing really badly. I gotta start, we got, okay. This is when we gotta start talking about like some bullshit to distract me and then I'll just like, then I'll just do it. You start talking about who's the boss or something and then I'll just like beat the whole game. I'm like 25 minutes into talking about. So on episode 11 of uh, who's the boss, you know, it goes like that. There you go, that's what you're supposed to do. All right, then this stupid guy. Here, if I get the money, I'll buy a continue, and then we'll be good. I should just fucking play through this again, because this is a terrible playthrough. It's like not even like... Does it like matter though? What if it was like the best playthrough of DuckTales 2 like you ever saw, would it, would it matter? <laughs> anyway, you know, it's like, oh wow, you really did good at DuckTales 2, my congratulations, like, does it matter? All right, I can't skip the... Oh, now they replaced it with a treasure map, huh? Okay, I want this continue globe, thank you. take an extra life. What's the safe all about? Was I not already saving all of my money? Sure, I'll take it. Why couldn't, why was he not already saving all his money? He can't fit it, like, yeah, in the comics, he like he's like putting money. He's got I'll tell you something. He takes off the top hat. He's got money stashed in the top hat. Puts it back. His cane. You'd be like, well, he can't store money in his cane, right? He can't. He takes his cane and he twists his cane. He pop, he pops the cane open and there's like a hole in the cane. And he's got it's filled with fucking money. He, the motherfucker's got money everywhere. He's got now he's got to carry around a fucking safe. is this bullshit uh, Scrooge that's not for, this is not canon he, he would have Donald come with him and Donald would be pushing the fucking safe also where is this safe 
in his ass? I bet you when I go to this next level, there's not gonna be any safe. That's the thing Gyro gave me, though. Where's the safe? There is no fucking safe. Okay, the city's going into the sea. That could be based on uh, Uncle Scrooge number six, possibly. Or there's a later one that's a mermaid one. could also be. Some of these things seem like they could be, like, from comics. Some of them. Or that also could be. They're, like, trying to do Konami shit here. It's like, what is this fucking Gradius over here? Here we go. What are you gonna give me? Yeah, like this shit. I played video games before. Look at that. Look at that maneuver. Pretty good. Can I break these yet? Oh, that's gonna be the next thing, right? I need an extra life, though. Like, if I can just do that. Give me an extra life. I can't make any mistakes. You think that'd be one? That'd be nice if it was. Of course it's not. Did this, did DuckTales 2 come out first, or, or did Darkwing Duck come out? Did Darkwing Duck for NES come out before? Because this mechanic that you're saying a lot is, oh shit, oh, I gotta like reset this. This shit here, hang on. Like this? Darkwing Duck, you're doing this like all the time. But how many games before DuckTales 2 and Darkwing Duck where you have a character where you're hanging off of a thing, like off of a little thing like that? Probably plenty, so. It just seems very Darkwing Duck to me. Safe lets you keep cash in stage if you lose a life in a stage. Oh, I see what you're saying. I wonder if you lose it though. There's probably a specific order I'm supposed to do this in to get like the gyros in the right like order. Oh, I'm at the boss already? Okay. I just want to start the whole game over. I still have the safe though. All right, they let you keep the safe, so that's good. I 
do like this game. I like that it's like a little bit more difficult than uh, the first game. The first game's too fucking easy. Ooh, oh, you can break him like that. Music's pretty decent, too. Should I bother doing this again? I mean, I guess I could get the money. I mean, you need, you need, you know what? You need the money more, like, in this game than you do in the first DuckTales game, because you're actually buying stuff. They're making the money more important. Because in the first game, you just collect money just for the sake of collecting money, and then at the end, it's like, how much money did you get? But in this one... Wait a second. But in this one, you're actually buying stuff, so I, th I feel like that's better. I think, I think maybe, honestly, I do like this game better. Is there multiple endings in this one? Uh, I don't know. We should let's we'll fi we should find out. This can all be my warm-up session, and then maybe we'll go through it again. I don't know. How about that? Like, how the fuck do I get up there? Oh, wait. How would I break that? Because I could... What? I don't know how I would get up there. Oh, I guess I come from above or something? Sink a stone into the sea? The fuck is he talking about? The fuck? What is this, Zelda now? like riddles and shit. I mean, to be fair, that's also very DuckTales. Ah, oh, the mystery of it all. Blocks first. Duck. Hit that. Get the other side. Duck. That. That's the problem. I was not ducking. That is the problem. Was he only do it from the side? Go. Alright, this is no problem now, I got this. Do 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 do. Like who the fuck is this guy? This is n this is also not canon at all. <laughs> The fuck is this asshole? That's fine. I I I, I kind of like that they make up original characters. I'm totally fine with that. That said, though, there's so many characters to pull from that you could use. It's kind of a shame, but. I just want to keep buying the special energy things. Like fuck it. The consensus is that there are two endings. Are there? Uh, how so? How do you get them? And, like, what's the deal? Well, right now I'm just, like, playing and trying to beat it or whatever, but maybe I'll go through it again if there's, like, another one or something. What do you, what do you gotta do? This isn't a straightforward platformer like the first one. You need to explore the levels and find secret stuff in them. Yeah, no, that, that's cool. I, I kind of think I like that better, CG dev. You have to get all the map pieces? Okay. I mean, I could go back, in, go back into the levels, I guess, huh? 
getting secret stuff gets the good ending. As opposed to how much money you make, like in the first one. There's a hidden level you unlock by finding every map piece. Beating the hidden level gives you the good ending. Okay. Okay, so, all right, we'll search for the, um, the map then, I guess. I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's, uh, so do I have any of the map pieces yet? Like, I don't even know. What did I just get? Was that a map piece or was it like a tablet or something? I guess I don't even have any yet, I don't know. Uh, let's go, I mean, I wonder where else the gyro is gonna be too. I should get all the gyro things. the wizard on the cover was he in the comics um well for one thing I have the no oh on the bottom you probably I don't know if you can see it that well he means on the bottom there um no Flint Heart Glumgold is but even Flint Heart Glumgold is not in that many comics um there's like a couple and then magic is in a few but there's like not like a ton um the thing is is like he has lots of different enemies and lots of different you know comics and they only really they use you know flint heart and magic a lot in the show but there's there's like all different ones like all the time there's one that's um I was just looking at one that has a, hang on, I'll, wait, I'll, I'll grab something real quick. Here, I think this is the one. This one has... Oh, here he is. This is yeah. Okay, this is the one that has Chisel Mixu. You guys want to actually see Chisel Mixu? <laughs> I'm gonna show him there. Here. So this motherfucker right here. There's like all these other bad guys that you never see, like in Ducktales, in the cartoon. I mean. <laughs> That's just one example. You go through the comics and there's like, there's like all these different ones. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna come on here. Now Scotland is in um, Old Castle Secret, which is one of the issues, so. It's nice that at least like some of the stuff is like, there's a little bit here and there. I like this level. This is like Haunted Mansion kind of shit. Here you go, haunted level in a game that's not haunted like otherwise, right? Uh, Aaron made a whole video like that. Like power ups here. Oh, yeah, this shit. And this is, this is totally the, the disappearing blocks from Mega Man. Also, Super Capcom, you know? I think the sprite art is also like really nice in this one, just like. I don't know, I, honestly, like, this is a pretty underrated game. 
because it's just like people will look at it and be like, oh, you know, it's a sequel to the DuckTales game, like whatever. It's kind of like forgotten. But I, got, I gotta get the fucking gyro thing to break that. Um, yeah, no, I think this is a really good game. See, it actually took like some work and effort to like make this game. Somebody like cared. But you know, that was back in like 1989 or something like that. Here we are in 2023 and you, you get this. You get to have that. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Good, good job. by the way Guardians of the Galaxy gets like it, it, if anybody could find the exact dollar amount or like close of what the fucking I don't know if that information's out there but how much money did that Guardians of the Galaxy ride cost in Epcot Center that they just built so the, so Guardians of the Galaxy something that Disney didn't make gets this like billion dollar ride, right? State of the art. Disney didn't make Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel did. Real Disney IP, the Ducks, what do they get? An app that they probably had a fucking... They paid an intern to do. Like, a couple thousand dollars. You know? They're just fucking pathetic. Oh, what? I thought I was supposed to... Let, I thought I could jump on that. I thought I could fucking jump on that. No, I don't want to go home. Stop. I guess I'm not going this way. Where am I going here? Hang on a second. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Can I come from here? Oh, now it's telling me to go up, I guess? I'm, like, lost here. Hang on. Oh, that's what I just did. I went there. Okay. All right, let's not do that. That's probably one of those hidden secrets or whatever, I guess. I bet part of the map is over there or some shit. I don't know if I can even do that yet. I only get these... Oh, I fucking went to jump! What the hell happened? Wait. Damn it. I keep getting tripped up with the controls. You know, I, I like, you know what I think is the problem? I like walked on it. But I think I, I'm supposed to just do that. It's just bounce on it is the problem. All right, there you go. Only bounce on it. Stuff. Oh, this is the guy that's... This is also, like, insanely easy. Um. Wait a second. Is that like 
one piece of the treasure map that you have to buy, and then all the other ones are... You find them in the levels, I assume. So I, I'll get that later, I guess. And for now, I should have to continue thing, because I'm probably gonna fucking die again. Yeah, it's just one piece of it. I'll, I'll buy that later. Where is this other... I don't think you can carry anymore. Oh, I already have one, I see. Um, I mean, fuck it, I'll just buy it. And then, so much money. I'm gonna buy one of these, I don't fucking care. So that's two pieces of the map, right? All right, um, I mean, so I haven't done this one yet, and then I'm gonna have to go back into these other, like, levels. So does anybody know which is the other level that has gyro? I guess I'm, this is the only one I haven't done. I'm gonna assume it's that one, or unless I missed him, which I might have. You have to buy it before you finish all five levels. Well, I just bought it, right, so. Oh, I didn't look at the Cobra Kai thing yet, no. for the continues. Yeah, they only let you buy one, so... Alright, I guess I'm gonna just do this level. Maybe Gyro's in here. Couldn't they just let you select the level instead of having to read all that text? Just how about you go to it and then you hit the button like Mega Man. It's like, why did, remind me why I had to read through all that text. It's like, okay. <laughs> How about I just select it and I go to it instead? Tell me something, tell me where Gyro is. Cause you're fucking worthless. You know what, how about, that's just to get up to him. I don't wanna get to him. Whoa. But, like this whole thing is fucking me cause I can't like break these. Right? Like... God damn it. What do you got to say? The light 
light of the sun or some shit. enjoy newer games um they're just it's fucking long they go on forever and then i play them it's not that i don't like i went through like all of returnal and i thought it was a great game and that's like no it's just it goes they fucking go on forever like this i can beat in a night then i gotta come back to it and come back to it again and come back to it again it's like way more of an undertaking there's plenty of new games that i'd love to play but i don't want to fucking be doing it for two months TMNT Tournament Fighters, what do you think the subsequent TMNT games on Super Nintendo would have been like? NES had three TMNT games. What if Super Nintendo had three also? Like, normal ones? Um, and that weren't fighting games? I mean, that'd be great. Um, who can say what they would have been like? Uh... Wouldn't it have been nice, though, if, like, yeah, with, like, Super Nintendo and those type of graphics, had they made, like, like, a totally different, like, type of game? Yeah. Um, I mean, gee, like, super big missed opportunity for them to not do that, right? Um... I don't know. I was th I'm just thinking about that, like, Shock Troopers game I was playing yesterday, but I don't think that that would be, like, a fitting thing. I'm trying to think of, like, what other type of gameplay you could do with Turtles besides, like, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. I guess just, like, another platformer type of thing. Um, I'm trying to think of something on, like, Super Nintendo to, like, be, like, almost, like... What about a game that's... This is this is a wild idea, and they never would have done this. But what if what if there was a game that was kind of like Hagane, but instead of the turtles, the game is called Splinter, and you fucking Splinter has to rescue the turtles, and the turtles are not in the game. They're only at the end, and the game is all about Master Splinter has to rescue the turtles for a change, and it's on Super Nintendo, and it's like. Yeah, you know how Hagane is with all, like, the fucking controls and shit and all the different moves you can do? And Splinter would have, like, all those kind of moves because he's the fucking master, right? How about something like that? Splinter could fuck shit up. Interesting concept. I don't know. I like my idea. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> but it's my idea. I don't know. <laughs> you like it? I don't know. Uh, what Like, what else they could have done besides that, though? Um... 
something like with the turn. I'm trying to think of like another Super Nintendo game. That's not a beat em up. See, I would want, because the easy solution is like, oh, you just do another beat em up game. I mean, I guess they could have just done another like Turtles in Time type of game. And just, it was, it's just different. It's just, they're not traveling through time. They're whatever. It's just like a normal, they're in New York City or something like that, or, you know, whatever. Again, and it's just another beat em up. Like, that's probably what they would have done if they were going to do anything else, is just make another beat em up with different levels and different enemies. But um, I feel like you, there's a lot you could do that would be like more interesting than that. Um, I don't know. That's a really great question. I appreciate that question. In the last seasons of 1987 cartoon, they transform sometimes. I'm trying to remember that. Did they? Yeah, you might be right about that. I kind of forget. I, I forget those like later seasons. Um, transforming? I don't know. I'm like cool with like when Shredder transforms into Super Shredder, but like the turtles transforming? I don't know if I care for that that much. Anyway. Webby's been kidnapped? Good, leave her. Oh, so wait, I got a question. So if I go there, is it done? Like, I have to go back to the other levels first, right? It doesn't let me, like, do that and then go back, right? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to not do that yet. I'm gonna buy another one of these. Since I got money. I don't care about the fucking money. I just wanna, like, get the treasures and shit. Alright, um... Wait a second. Did it just take me to the end thing? Is this where the end is? I don't want to be here. Did I just fuck this up? Does it automatically take you to the... Fuck. I was gonna go back to the other levels. He pulls his dick out. fucking do here? What the, how do you fucking do this? What? And I, I've beaten this game before, too. There's, like, not even an opening to get a hit in. What? And also, like, this whole thing's fucked now. Like, I want, is there, there's like no way to get back, hang on a second. I wanted to get back to the map and go to the other, like, levels and shit. I'm so fucking annoyed right now. Reset? I mean, I guess. But let's figure this out, I guess. Hang on. I'm gonna have to just go through the whole game again. I like, totally fucked all this up. I never saw the other gyro. Oh, when he's walking. Alright, that's the opening. That's all it is. That's actually super easy. You get that little window when he's walking to get him. Ooh, you fuck. There. Okay, now we know how to do that. I 
I mean, I guess I might as well like learn how to do all this shit. I'm gonna have to go through the game again, though. Oh. Wait, that's the ending of it? At least we've got each other. It wouldn't have went that way in the comics. <laughs> Scro Scro Scrooge would have been like, okay, Don Donald, put on the scuba gear and go down and get it. And then Donald would be like, oh, it's really dangerous. And, Scro and then Scrooge, you just see like Scrooge's fucking like web foot kicking him, kicking his ass into the fucking water. And then Donald's gonna go down and he's gonna be like down there. And there's gonna be like all dangerous shit and like all kinds of crazy shit's gonna happen. And then, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie look like fucking, fucking guilt trip Scrooge. And then, like, all right. And then, then they all fucking go. And, like, like crazy shit happens. Like, monsters come out and shit. And it'd be, like, a whole thing. It wouldn't be any of this. And we all, we're all together. And we all had a good day. None, none of that shit. What, is it, like... It's one of these where you get to the end screen and it doesn't, like... Don't you hate that with, like, some video games where you get to the end screen and then it just, it's stuck on it? Oh, if you wait long enough. Jesus. Fucking take forever. See this finger? Now it's stuck. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll come back and then we'll play this again. I'll, I'll be back. Tonight we're playing DuckTales 2 for the NES. I just beat the game, but 
I want to like get the, all the treasures and shit. So I gotta find Gyro and, and do that. You want to see some cool Ducktales shit? Or Donald Duck, whatever we want to call it. So we got here. Wait. So in the '80s, when Ducktales was going on. So here, here's what happened. So back in the like 1950s or whatever, you had the actual comics that were being made in, with, I mean, this game is about Scrooge, right? So in the 50s, 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 whatever, the 50s, really, you have all these Scrooge comics that are made, right? So 1950s into the mid-1960s, and then they stopped doing that. Then what happens is Carl Barks retires and then in like the mid 70s starts doing paintings so the paintings are from fans who would read the comics and they'd be like oh i like this comic with uh like chisel mixu or whatever i like the panel where uh the the boat explodes in half and then scrooge is jumping off of it can you make a painting of that or something like that and he's like okay and then because he, he was doing painting at that time. He wasn't making comics anymore. He's, he got into like doing a painting career. But then people start paying him a lot of money to do the paintings, right? So that's what this is. This is a, like a compilation book of the paintings. So as DuckTales, the show, is going on, he's making all these paintings, basically. So you have this book of uh, the paintings, and it's like Scrooge in the money bin and, and all that shit. So I can show you some different ones from this. So, I mean, there's all kinds of shit. There's like the sailboat paintings. And people would want different, usually like covers from the comics. Like this one is uh, the Golden Helmet comic. And you see how it's, it's about Donald. Usually these adventure stories about Donald and Donald and Scrooge and the kids. Not launch pad. There's no, none of this launch pad. Or you have like Sheriff of Bullet Valley. See what I'm saying? It's very much about Donald. And the early, early ones are, that's his girlfriend. That's Glittering Goldie, but when she's old. <laughs> Because he's from the Klondike and all that. Um, so he made his money. And there's, there was all kinds of money bin paintings. That was the most popular subject. Surprise, surprise. People wanted pictures of Uncle Scrooge and his money. That's what people wanted. Most, mostly. Here's another one. So he would do these in the 1970s. And then what happened is uh, he got a license to make like bigger ones, basically, like later in the 80s. So at in the 1980s, these are all like from the 70s mostly. Um, like this was a cover at one point. This is a cover of one of the issues. And so that's like a painting of the one of the covers. You get the idea. Um, so then, um, in the 80s, they started doing the bigger prints of them, which is like what I was showing you earlier. So this is like, this is like from the 80s. This is like when DuckTales is going on, like these prints. So that's like sort of the second series of, um... The, the lithographs, the paintings. Here. Let me just put this shit away real quick. So it's related because we're doing dovetails. So there you go. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I guess I'm going to spend more time in each level and try to actually find Gyro 
Because there was one of the gyros. I never even saw him, so I have to like get all of the. I think that's one of the reasons I wasn't finding the treasures is I didn't have all the items, and then I gotta also make sure that I don't like accidentally like start and go to that like last level. So like I have to make sure that like I'm gonna spend all my time on the first on the on the first on like the first like levels. And then when I know I'm on the last level, I can't like leave that last level until I know I've done everything, I guess. If that makes sense. So I gotta be careful about what I'm doing. Cause it seems like once you beat that last stage, it takes you to the final thing where you fight that robot. So I gotta like, I thought I would have another chance to go back to the map screen again, but I don't think it lets you. Basically is what I'm saying. Like that's what I thought was gonna happen before, but that's not how it works. So that kind of sucks. So I gotta be careful. I think before you go to the last level, it should like give you an opportunity to go back to the map screen again. I don't really like that. Thank you, Untold Darkness, for the bits. What's that? I'm sorry. What is uh, that? What's that? Mentally numb? What are you saying? Could you hit the pause button? I want to see whether the waterfalls move during pause. Yeah, that's paused. So yes, they do. Oh, meet wisdom, like on this stage? Okay. Maybe, oh, because it was like the first stage and I wasn't really thinking about that yet. Maybe that's the problem. Is it like... Yeah, was he gonna be like over here? Oh. I kept going right. I didn't fucking do this part, huh? This is the whole fucking problem right here. This is what fucked me. I didn't fucking do this. I was too busy being pissed off about uh, this shit than paying attention to what I was doing. Not that it even fucking matters to me. Like, I'm not gonna fucking go and do that. So it shouldn't matter, right? I'm, what matters is that I hate how the, this franchise has just been treated so poorly is why I brought it up. About how they don't, they don't recognize what they have and don't do anything good with it. See, now I can break these. That was the problem the whole fucking time. I could also, I could fall down like that, boom. Let's see, hang on. 
Did I go up here? That's that. I feel like I saw all this. Oh, wait. No. Oh, you mean this? Wait, 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 wait. All right, hang on. Maybe they meant this. That's just a piece of treasure. Is that what you meant? At the beginning. What, at the beginning of the fucking level? That's what it seems like at the top. Whoa. Actually, it did look like something happened right there. Wait, what? No, like dead serious, something did happen. Did you fucking see that? some fucking bullshit. Oh, come on. I didn't know he was in this game. Holy shit, that just blew my fucking mind. Dude, oh, so it's like, basically, so right here, there's like a, a rock that you can't see. So Scrooge can do this move where like, you, you can hit the thing, right? But then you can also, like here, like if I'm down here, you jump and like hit the wall, right? You can jump and hit shit like higher up. So you gotta do that, but you, how you wouldn't know, dude? Is that like in Nintendo Power or some shit? So you go like that, you hit the fucking thing up, it breaks a thing that you don't even know is there. Then you're supposed to go up, dude. That is some cryptic shit. Holy fucking shit! I never knew about that. Never, ever, ever knew about that. So I think like years ago when I played this, I only like 
Well, fucking no wonder, though, that I didn't fucking know about that. That's no fucking surprise. I would have never found that. You can't even, it's, they have it like up in where the fucking score is. Looks great though. <laughs> like, you're gonna hide stuff in like the fucking HUD, like where the fucking score is. Like, that's. I'm not, I'm not into that. Regardless, though, that blew my fucking mind. That was the last fucking thing I ever expected right then, was to see fucking Bubba's dumbass fucking come out. has been made on man baby gaming and bitchin oh you're adding that to it gaming and bitchin I mean that's you're not wrong that, that's true so his advice is jump on the enemy five times really so like when I got there don't you think I would have basically fought to the death because there's no way out of that room so does it really help me to know Dewey that you have to hit him five times why don't you just say, just keep hitting him until he's dead. Keep smacking him with the end of your cane until he fucking dies, Uncle Scrooge. I would like you to say it that way. Make sure to hit him five times. Thanks a lot, Dewey. There's a reason nobody likes you. Did you ever think about that, Dewey? into the score to find the secret thing, the secret hidden rock that you have to hit with your jumping pogo jump inside of the score in the top of the screen. Oh, that hidden secret. Oh, right. On that particular part of the level. Why don't you kneel down by a wall until and hold the crystal until the, until the tornado comes. This was one of those games I owned as a kid, so I beat it 100%, like 100 times. See, I did, I had, I did not. I had DuckTales 1, and honestly, I don't think I knew about DuckTales 2 until you couldn't even buy it at the store anymore, you know? Um, so anyway, I guess that level's done, right? I got the treasure map. We saw Bubba. I saw Gyro. We, we're done with, we're done with that. So, all right. Um, so you go to the pirate ship the first time, and then Gyro gives you something there. And so there's Gyro there, Gyro there, and is it this one or is it Scotland? I forget which is the other one that has Gyro. I feel like it's that one in the middle might have them. 
I'm, I think the pirate ship definitely has them, so I'm gonna go there. Gladstone instead. They ever tell you about that? Well, I think it should be. I still think it should be. The rope and the crab on the left. Alright, thank you, King of Games. I appreciate it. I'll look around. If I pass it, you can yell at me. Check over here. I'm gonna look at everything. Oh, I should have got that treasure chest, huh? Yeah, see, uh, exactly. Like, I don't know this one all that all that well. I said it, I didn't own it. It's good that like I like it. I wish I did. I wish I did have it back then. I I, I would have loved it. Mega Man games though. Back as a kid, I, lo I loved all the NES Mega Man games. I just I would just play those endlessly. Zelda. Hour 51 minutes. Can I break the... Oh, now I can break those. Ah. See, I skipped that whole gyro shit before. Uh, fuck me. I hate him as a character, but I really hate him in this game because... Oh, fuck, hang on. Um, because you have to wait for the text to go by. And I don't want to wait for the fucking text. Like, so, like, gameplay-wise, I don't like him either. <laughs> Just, like, get out of the way. I, you know how I think that should work? This I think it should work. You pause the game, and you go to a thing, and it's just a picture of Launchpad, and it says, leave, yes, no, and then you click that. Instead of, you go to him, and, and this slow text comes up, and you find him in a level. Like, you don't, I don't need any of that. And then also, it shouldn't be Launchpad. It should be Donald <laughs> on top of it. You should, you should hit start. You should go over, and it should be... Not even that. By the way, there's issues where Scrooge flies a fucking plane himself. The whole thing's fucking stupid. Here's how it should... No. Back this the fuck up. Here's how this should work. You hit fucking start. It brings that up. There's a fucking plane, and you click the plane. Le and it says leave, yes or no. And you hit fucking A, and Scrooge flies the fucking plane himself. Because they're all over the place with this... Scrooge flying the planes shit. Dude, I will find the fucking issues, and I'll fucking show them to you. I, I have to look through them, but the Scrooge sometimes flies the fucking planes and the helicopters and shit. It's like... Oh, so, oh, so sometimes he can, he can fly and sometimes he can't. Like, give me a fucking break. He, he's a fucking adventurer. It's like fucking Batman and shit. Dude, Scrooge, you know, Scrooge is like fucking Batman, basically. 
he goes to, he, you think he's just like, there's a reason he's so fucking rich. He goes to all these fucking countries and shit. He's like Indiana Jones or like Batman or some motherfucker. You know, like Bruce Wayne. There's a reason, why is, is Batman able to do so much shit, you know? Because he, he's fucking like a genius. the hammer adapter from Gyro Gear Loose. Like, having, like, Launchpad have to fly him around makes Scrooge seem incompetent. And he's not. He can do all this shit all on his own. He doesn't fucking need any of these motherfuckers, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm very angry about this. Sometimes I get angry about video games. Occasionally. Oh, fuck. Oh, also, I wasn't paying attention. I have to go back. Can I even get back? There was like a, what was it a fucking, wait. How far much further did I go? Yeah, the map, the map. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting so angry about, where's the guy? There was like a, a, a rope and a fucking like lobster or some shit. Oh, I can't go back now? All right, let me beat the level and then apparently I passed it. All right, I'll just do this. This is easy anyway. Now I say that, watch me die. like random stupid pirate that's fucking lazy right there I can tell you exactly who that should fucking be oh I put everything away there, that should be the fucking uh, ghost of the grotto is who that should fucking be there's a guy in a fucking golden fucking suit no I'm gonna show it to you hold on show you who that enemy is. So they make it like those random fucking pirate guy who's no, who's like fucking nobody. Also, there's all kinds of like, no, also you could make it like Pete. There's like all kinds of fucking like ship stories and stuff that it could fucking be. It's so fucking stupid. But I'll give you a, I'll give you a fucking awesome one. Dude, there's a fucking awesome guy who the whole the whole thing is like a ship. If I can find it real quick. These fucking people. I think it's in here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna search. I'm fucking. I'll look it up online. I'm so angry. Here.
this motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta prove my point. This motherfucker. See there, they're on a fucking ship. They're in the fucking water and shit. It's like, cause the whole, that whole thing is a fucking pirate ship, right? Have it be that motherfucker. Who, like, who is that random pirate? And that's just one, that's just one example off the top of my head. There's all kinds of other characters that could fucking be too. That could actually be within the, like, lore. I'm gonna get the continue globe. I'll buy the treasure map in a little bit. Alright, I'm going back to this. Also, like, the Bermuda Triangle. There's a DuckTales episode that's about the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle, and there's a captain in that fucking episode. Wait a second. So forget even about the comics. Like, if you want to actually go for the show, because this is the show. There's like an early episode of the show. Dude, I have it right here. I'm gonna tell you even better who this should fucking be. this. Where did that fucking picture go? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do this. Pictures going. Whatever. Look it up yourself. I, I can't fucking get it to come up. It, look up the DuckTales episode, Bermuda Triangle, and then you'll say the fucking... Type it in yourself. There's a fucking captain. Have it be the fucking captain. I don't know. It's not, like, working. Sometimes the capture program doesn't want to like bring images in for some reason. It's it, oh, it might be the it doesn't like the file type. Is why. somewhere. I did this before. I got this. This wasn't the treasure map. This is just like a diamond or something, right? Yeah. There's all this bullshit. Go up here. This is an extra life up here, right? Yeah. I can keep going into the level and I farm extra lives. Wait a second. What if. Am I supposed to be able to go above that? God damn it. Can I. I hate those fucking rats. 
Maybe I'm supposed to go above that. Fucking stop! I hate these fucking rats. not grab on. fucking come in here last run I came in here and I think I just didn't like go all the way up there or something all right who's the fucking guy oh it's this fucking stupid wannabe Bermuda Triangle motherfucker why would you not use the fucking character from the fucking episode? The fuck it's this is game this game is called DuckTales. And there's an episode about the Bermuda Triangle. And there's a fucking character who's like a fucking pirate guy, pirate captain fucking guy. And then I th think they fight like an octopus monster or something like that. I haven't seen it in a long fucking time, but it's some shit like that. Have it be that octo... You know what? It probably doesn't... It doesn't make sense for it to be the f captain, because I think the captain's a good guy, actually, turns out to be. But whatever. I think he's, like, kind of bad, kind of good. Like, at, by the end, he turns out to be good. But, like, at first, he's, like, bad. Like, the captain guy. So he could either be the fucking captain guy, because, like, whatever. Or... I think they fight, maybe it's not an octopus or like a squid or some shit. I have to like rewatch it. Oh, you don't even have to fight the fucking guy again. All right. I think they didn't care, Mike. That's my point. That's my whole fucking point is they didn't fucking care. I know they didn't care. That's what I'm pointing out. This is my entire purpose of doing this is how they didn't fucking care when they were making this fucking show and everybody just remembers DuckTales so fondly and DuckTales compared to many other shows at the time was very good but at the same it's like you know what it's like it's like when when I'm playing like Link to the Past and then I'm like you see that fucking 
crack in the wall. This game's great. Love Link to the Past, but that's fucking stupid. Like, it's like when you play like a really good game, and but then you like what? Let's not even do that one. I got something for the chat. Okay, let's do video games. Tell me a game that you really love, and then give me something about a game that you love that you don't like. Think of a game you love, but it's something you don't like in a game that you love. That's what we're doing. Can you think of anything? And thank you, uh, uh, 36666 for the sub. Friday the 13th, the fucking map? Well, I meant like, I mean, I do kind of like that game now, but... Ocarina of Time, the combat is too easy. Fair. You're too drunk. You love Castlevania 3, but you hate the attack on the stairs. You know what? I love Castlevania 3, but I don't like how long it takes you to change from one character to another character. Like, if you want to change from Trevor to Saifa, it takes too long. It should be, like, quick. Anyway. Alright, so, I want this thing. And do I have enough? Here, I'm gonna get this now, since I get the money. Alright. Hey, how do you like that, that money amount right there? Is everybody happy? Are we good? Why don't I just end the stream right there? Might as well. Look at that. Alright. Four pieces. Four pieces of the map. Waterfall. The fucking pirate ship. Now we're doing... Now we're doing this shit. Is Gyro in this fucking thing or this fucking thing? I don't remember. I feel like he's in the middle one. Yeah, the middle thing. That's what I thought. Alright. I guess I better. That was worthless. Bum, bum, bum. Break these. Oh, I don't have. Wait, here, wait. Oh, yeah, there's Shira. Thank you. Now we got everything. Alright, now I don't have to worry about his ass anymore. And I have the treasure chest. I can keep the money and all that shit. I think I know where this, um... Actually, you gotta, like, glitch this off the screen or some shit, don't you? Yeah. But, like... How about now? <laughs> That's, like, broken. Alright, first of all, I can do this. I didn't do that before. Let's say, is this it? No. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can you pull your cane on the flower? Oh, I can't go back now. Fuck. <laughs> now that's all I can think about. Now I want to do that. Shit. See if I can 
go back. Not that, I, not that I need to. Oh shit, that might fucking kill me. I better not do that. I was gonna look at the flower situation, but whatever. That happens. It happens. It's like I just stop like caring about like the whole idea of like worrying about beating the game or whatever. I just get interested in one little like how the mechanics work or something. It's like more important to me than like the whole thing we're doing. say like you bounce off the guy but there's not enough room to get up there you can't like wall hit how would you fucking do that I wonder timing I don't, I don't know a jump swing yeah but you like jump you have, to, you have to hit that guy and then coming off of the enemy push against the wall and then like jump then like swing against the wall is that actually even possible to do that I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, and this guy keeps coming, so now I can't get back. Alright, fuck it. Apparently you can do it from the other side, but I, have, I don't have the health. I, sh I needed to do it, like, earlier. Oh, well, I have the ice cream. That's not the treasure, right? So I don't care. should have told me earlier so you're saying you're telling me at the time you're telling me like way too late I 
I'll see if I get this. They're telling me at the time, they say, you need to tell me, why don't you tell me, like, 25 seconds in advance, probably more than that, about 45 seconds in advance. You're reading too late. That's why you really need to be in it, go, it's telling me in advance. By the time I read, and then the other thing, yeah, by the time I actually read it, No. Shit, no. Shit, no. It's crazy how they're ripping off Scrooge with these prices because they know he's rich and in an exploitable situation. <laughs> That's super true. Thank you, because I needed to know the location of it. Games 323. See, I like that. You actually typed out like a fucking paragraph with like quality information. Because somebody will say, go left. And then if a minute and a half later, I read it, and it's like, go left, it doesn't help. I need, like, specific things. And this is not just for this stream. This goes for, like, every live stream. And not just for me. That's, like, for any live stream you might ever watch. You're, like, in somebody's chat. Somebody's, like, playing, like, you know, TMNT or something. You know, you want to give it help. You'd be like... This is, this is how like a chat works. They're like, oh, just hit down with the bow. And then I'll be like, well, hit down with the bow where? And then I look again and somebody else types, hit down with the bow. I'm like, on what part of the game? And then like, and then, and then I play it myself. And then I stand on the edge and I do down with the bow onto Rocksteady's head and to do that trick with Rocksteady. And I'm like, oh, that, that part, and then I look over at the chat, and then after I beat the boss and do down with the bow, somebody in the chat writes out a paragraph, and then, then they go, the part in the game that you gotta hit down with the bow is when you're fighting Rocksteady. And then I go, oh thanks, I already figured that out. Because everybody else just said, down with bow. Nobody wants to like type out like an exact like thing, so then every, then everything takes a you know it takes twenty times as long because nobody types something like specific. Also, this is the fucking part. Hang on. Oh, I'm doing this. I need him to come from this way. Past launch pad. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Did we see him already? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, down with the bow. No, thank you. That's the other thing that happens too. Is I start, I start having these conversations, and then I totally forget what I'm supposed to be fucking doing. He's like after this, right? I see, I didn't want to fucking go over here because I, I didn't want him to fucking talk to me. Because I have to fucking sit here and listen to that. Oh shit, what did I do? Say something to me. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I fall down? Like, how do you even get out of here anyway? Oh, you can just do that. Are you really every time?
But now I had to fucking, I had to do it the other way. But now I'm out of fucking lives. I swear to fucking God. Oh, I do have a continue. All right, better. All right, now I, now I gotta fucking buy another one of these. They put it in the most annoying place. You gotta like fucking keep listening to Launchpad, fucking all the text going by and shit. That's exactly why I never fucking found that shit. Cause I don't fucking be anywhere near him talking to me. I see, I would've went through this level a million times and never fucking found that area, cause it's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta go, you gotta fucking pass launch pad. It's like, oh, then why, then just turn the game off. That's my fucking solution to launch pad and a quack. My solution is fuck him. It's these, these two fucking, there, that's this fucking solution right there. That's what that's all about. Alright. But you have to, you motherfucking cock sucking piece of shit, fucking shove my fucking fat nuts in your fucking dumb duck mouth. Shut up. So it's like this. drop down now fall probably like that was water right was that water right there I think that was water I don't even know da 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 forever. Oh, yo. This, this is gonna be worth it, I guess. Now I am a real fucking explorer here. I guess. Oh. 
There it is. Fucking hell. All right. Jeez. Oh, now I gotta get out. Oh, fuck this. How do I get out even? Oh my god. Actually, maybe like... Design the room for screws that with all the blocks to get them out. They're like, oh fuck. Really? I gotta fucking do that? Uh, yeah, we're paying you. Alright. How many blocks do need to be in this room? 400 blocks. 400? When does this do? 5 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. Get it done. Get it done. Or you're fucking done. You're fired. And he got it done, it was fine. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. And now we go to Scotland. <laughs> Get off the toilet and make this level. I don't like how this like map works. No. We just fucking did that. Here, we can go here. Secret of the pyramid? Ah, fuck. You know this is gonna be a nightmare. right here? What if it's just like under the, what if it's just, it's here? You know? <laughs> there it is, it's the treasure. He missed this the Sun's Little League game, putting in those blocks, <laughs> show some fucking gratitude. <laughs> with the quicksand. Is it like here? <laughs> You're fired. <sighs> Did I ever do DuckTales on Game Boy? Uh, I don't know. Did I do DuckTales on Game Boy? That's a good question. I, I don't know. Wait, I wonder if I can jump above this. Get up there. Hmm. Wait a second, I have an idea. Oh. I thought maybe that could be invisible up there. All right, never mind. Never mind. Jeez. Ah! Damn it. Oh, I bet it's this, huh? Fucking do it. Whoa! I better read what he says, huh? Okay. 
two is four. Am I supposed to like go to the right? The oh, fuck. Maybe I'm supposed to. Oh, you can fucking tell me again. Thank you, uh, Agur Mix, for the, the tier one sub. Shut up! God. I mean, I guess it's good that they fucking let you read it again. Jeez. Does this, like, mean I pogo jump on them? So one is three. That's the third one to do. Four is one. One. Two is four? Wait, which one's two? Three is two. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. I, just, I already fucked this up. <laughs> so... So then it's just... Oh, no, I didn't... Then I just do this. And then that. Right? No. Wait, what? Am I supposed to do something different? I probably waited too long. Wait, without hitting the ground. Oh, really? No, I just did that. I'll just fucking start hitting shit. I oh, wait, what? many times did oh they mean it like that so oh, okay one jump on at three three jump on it twice four jump on it once and two jump on it four times Okay, that's not how I thought it meant to do it. I thought it was like, which order? Okay. Uh, geez. Uh, they totally had me thinking of that like differently than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay. I see. Well, that's interesting. But he's still telling me, dude, I have the treasure. Scrooge should take his cane and, like, shove up his ass. <laughs> shove the cane up Dewey's ass. I mean, basically, right? I mean, what else do you want? <laughs> I got the treasure, you dumb fuck! I did your one, two, three, four! Now shut the fuck up! Dewey! Yes, Uncle Scrooge. Come here! What? Come closer! Closer! 
what's up, Uncle Scrooge? Closer! Yes, Uncle Scrooge? You were always my least favorite nephew. Huey is much better than you are. Now get the fuck out. You're not gonna get any of my money. You're not getting any inheritance. You know who I'm giving it to? <laughs> Bubba! Bubba Duck! He gets it all! Ah! <laughs> no, Uncle Scrooge, you know, he's just a random caveman that we found. Like, in the middle of nowhere. And, like, remember Gyro? We went back in time and shit. And... And then, like, he's just, like, a random duck. I'm, like, your family. I'm related to you. You're not gonna give me any of that money? He's like, that's the fucking point. You're gonna learn a lesson. Life sucks. You don't get shit. I mean, pretty much, that's probably how it would go. Should I go back into that there? Or was it just like extra money or something? It's a, just another secret treasure. Well, if I don't need it, then like I don't really care. I just want to get the map stuff. So what is there, just one more and it's gonna be in Scotland or like what? You get nothing, good day, sir. Like, I gotta be careful that, like, I don't want to do this wrong at this point, because I think it automatically takes you to the last level, and the, the only one I haven't done now is Scotland, right? So, this is important right now, I need to, like, Scotland is the one where you found, you have to pogo on the floating hands. Oh, I found it? Okay, I don't even remember. So do I have to do anything else with Egypt, with the pyramids, or can I just be done with that? Or it was like that other... Where the jumping sarcophagus was right before the boss. Oh, that's for that other treasure. Why was Launchpad calling Scrooge Uncle Scrooge? Scrooge has no relation. Because it's fucking bad. Because everybody... I guess he gets used to everybody else calling him Uncle Scrooge, so he calls him Uncle Scrooge, too. But you're absolutely right. He should just call him... No, you know... That, well, does he say Uncle Scrooge? No, he calls him Mr. McD, actually. He says, hey, Mr. McD. So, that's not even true. Unless, is there it? Oh, you mean in this game. You're talking about right here in the game. I was thinking about the show. No, you're right. In the, in the fucking game. So right here, like right here on the fucking screen where we're seeing, he, he should say, where to Mr. McD? Or he should say, where to Mr. McDuck? You are absolutely fucking right, actually. Good fucking catch. This is, game is bullshit. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the show. Rambo, yeah, eventually. All right, I guess I'm just gonna go to Scotland then. That's a major mistake. No, it is a major mistake, you're totally right. 
I just thought you meant the shout. You like how I, I did that, like, what, 20 minutes ago or something, or like 40 minutes ago or whatever, and it's like, I don't even fucking remember. I guess I'll just find it again. <laughs> I, you hop on hands or something, and then there's a, tre a secret treasure somewhere. I'll, I'll find it. Shit. Oh, is it like right there? And I got it here. Hang on. I wonder if that's it. Actually, it right there. Like, mm. oh, there we go. Whoa. All right. You don't think I break these, and then there's like, I don't think so. chat goes, you know what, Mike? I think it's under those spikes. What if, dude, what if they, those were actually like invisible, like, uh, like those spikes don't actually exist, and the secret is you break these blocks and you fall through the spikes, and Scrooge literally just fall. you don't get hurt or anything, you fall through the spikes into another room and you get the treasure. What, that would be fucking bullshit. I was not thrilled with that ending. Like that robot duck, it just felt like there had to be like more to the game. Which I'm, I'm assuming, I hope there's like another boss or something. Treasure chest is bad, you don't know which one. What? There's a there's gonna be a bad treasure chest? Is are you serious? It traps you? Are you serious? You're you're just fucking with me, aren't you? Retro gaming gal is probably like laughing. Oh yeah, there's a, there, don't get the treasure chest. It's real bad. Well, what if it's that right there? Well, I just fucking missed it. Oh fuck! Oh. Look at all this shit. Shit. Oh, 
wanted to get like up there. Wait, can I get that to come back? Probably not. Well, maybe that's the treasure chest that traps me. <laughs> This is like hard, so. Five lives, right? Like, here. All right, this is the secret level. This is, this is the point of everything we're doing right here to see this. So this is cool. I have not seen this before. So years ago when I played this game, I just like beat it like normally. So now we're seeing like extra shit. I never bothered to do any of this before. I've never seen this in my life. Like, I knew there was, like, other shit, but I just didn't do any of it. It's nice that it gives this game a lot of, like, uh, you know, replayability, longevity. Good. Would have been a real good game to own back then. Oh, do you think I dropped down there? Do you, I wonder, like, if I go down there, is that going to be a fucking invisible wall? You know, if I just fucking go and then I keep walking to the right and it'll be fucking invisible, I bet. Is this like a combination of all levels? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. I don't know. Nobody said anything, so I'm just gonna fucking try it. Holy shit. that.
Oh, that sucks. Well, I thought I was smart for a second. my fucking bagpipes. gem with a duck face on it or something. Looks like he's puckering up, puckering up those lips, those duck lips. Alright, well that was the extra level. And now we go to the end, right? I mean, it's, I don't need to buy anything else, right? I'm just gonna go. Where to now? Now, we're done, right? Or, wait, did, did I ever beat Scotland? Scotland's, like, not actually beaten, right? Uh, 420, Bob, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, you know what? I don't even remember. Scotland was, uh... There's like the fire guy, there's the stupid pirate, there's the rock guy. Who was the guy in Scotland? I don't even fucking remember. I guess I'm gonna find out. Dude, I don't fucking remember. I'll tell you who it should fucking be. It should be the guy from the old castle secret. That's who it should fucking be. There's like an old man with a beard. I can, I, you want me to get it? I can get it and show it to you. Who, who? I think it actually should fucking be. It's not gonna be that. Fuck. So there's there's a comic where Scrooge goes back to like the old Castle McDuck or whatever. And then it's like they think the castle is haunted. That's what all this shit's based on. And then I think they kind of did a remake episode of that 
for the show. I think there's an episode like that, too. Like, it's like they're all, like, loosely based on, like, what the comics were. Or, there's some episodes that are loosely based on the comics. There's a lot that are not, that are just, most of them actually are just totally, they just made them up. There, that's what I was supposed to do before. Yeah, the majority of the episodes of DuckTales are just, like, they just made up new shit. But there are certain ones that they try to do sort of loose comic adaptations. this fucking guy. <laughs> okay. I forgot it's the same thing. They should have made a different enemy for... I mean, I guess they changed what he does, like how he acts. I guess. <laughs> I feel like it would have been better if they would have made like a unique guy. Let me grab that real quick, just so I can show you. Give me like one second. Secret, which is seems like what that level was based on. And then the guy in the comic. So, okay, so how it goes, I mean, I... Alright, I mean, you know what, I'm not gonna spoil it, because somebody might want to read it. Um, if you haven't read it. But, like, basically, so there's this skeleton here. It, there's like an invisible like skeleton going around and they think it's like a ghost and then it turns out to be a different character by the end of it so anyway I think they should have used that you know what they could have done they could have had their little fucking wizard thing as the boss but in the secret level it could have been the guy based on the comic and that's what you could use for the extra level to have it like actually based on like lore from the origins anyway and honestly I think and then you're like well but it's this game's based on the TV show right but like I'm pretty sure though that that episode of the show when they go to like Castle McDuck is based off the comic, and I think it's like the same thing, so it would make sense that they would do that, even if you're only talking about the show. And then they don't do that, then they just make it a fucking wizard. And it's like, it's like, that doesn't even make sense. So we're gonna see what happens here. So I'm gonna get the good ending. I hope, I would imagine. They needed Mike on the team at Capcom. I mean, it's just like, it's like they did. They, they, the problem is, is I care a lot more. But I think that they, I think that the, the people that worked on like DuckTales and, and these games, I think they cared, but like only to a certain point. 
see, the problem is you get like a hardcore fan of something, and then you're like, oh, why isn't it like that? You know, it's like I'm more, I'm more of a fan is the problem. It's not that they didn't care; they cared, but like to an extent. Who cares about Webby? Webby sucks. They should add Daisy. Retro Gal was telling the truth on the bad treasure chest, but I passed it, right? The hard hardcore fans differ from regular fans. I mean, yeah, it's true. If you know what the difference would be, like I consider myself an a regular fan of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like it. I like it quite a bit. You know, but I'm not like like I haven't read like e like every issue of the comic or anything like that. Like I can't tell you like all like the like lore of it. Um, I mean, maybe that's not, I'm like I'm a pretty big fan of that though. But like, what would be a better example? Like Batman or something, or like Spider Man or something. I'm I'm a very casual fan of like Batman and Spider Man. I like it, and I know what it's like supposed to be generally. But there's so many other people out there that know so much more about Batman and Spider-Man than me. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of the Batman, you know, stuff. I've seen the movies, I've seen the animated movies, and I've read some of the comics and stuff, but, like, I've read a good batch of the comics, but there's people that are, like, they know everything about Batman, and that's not me, you know? But that's what I'm like with this shit. Cause like this shit, I've read every single issue m m many times. Like, so like. Thank you so much for the treasures. It, it, it doesn't it seem like Scrooge just kicks over the treasures to him. I feel like Flint Hart should have walked over and pulled it away. You could even have him just slide over and like, and then slide back, as opposed to Scrooge like kind of kicking it over to him. Because why would Scrooge just like kind of give up the treasures that easily? Is that you like me like pulling this game apart like so much, but that bothers me. It just seems like he's giving up the treasure. He wouldn't just hand over the treasures like that. That's supposed to be like the Terminator, which is also not. Yeah, the D1000. It's because at that time Terminator was popular, and they're like, "Oh, kids will like that," but that's totally not. Now you're doing like a Terminator parody, and there's so you know what you could have done instead. There's an episode of Ducktales, um, with uh. I think it was it was Armstrong and the robots, and then there's like these giant ro robots and shit. You should fight the Armstrong robot. I think it's a robot that maybe Gyro made, and it goes out of control. You need a fucking evil robot. You make it fucking Armstrong from the from the episodes, not that fucking thing to make. Because that's like a fucking parrot. This is what tells me that like. These people are like, oh, we need, like, an end boss. Kids like Terminator. Why don't we make it, like, a T-1000 without actually, like, going into the lore of, like, the fucking show and making it something that would be on the show? And then you got Webby. The whole thing was to rescue Webby. Oh, you know what? I don't like this game. <laughs> Fuck her. never have such direct like lame dialogue in the comics
So that's where it ended before on that screen. Am I gonna get something else? Yeah, you don't see that. And he takes his hat off, and it's the treasure we got from the basement. And Castle McDuck. Or whatever. Okay, so that's the good ending, basically. Cool. Well, look at me. Oh, it looks like his glasses, they kind of, like, fucked up. Don't the glasses look uneven on his on his beak? I could fix that if I fucking put that into, like, a program. Those The glasses are drawn, like, really badly there. Even for, like, sprite. Like, it needs to be, like, moved over and, like... Like, the... the I, I would have to, like, draw it out, but the glass on the fucking right should be, like, a little bit bigger. That's, like, doesn't... That looks like shit. <laughs> That's a little bit better. I'm fine with that. Also, the color of the beak is like, it's way too yellow. It should be more orange. Yeah. Look at the fucking color of the fucking beaks. See the color of the fucking beaks? Look at the fucking color on his beak. Now look at the color of his beak there. You're telling me they can't fucking do the right color on his fucking beak? Why is it yellow? They can't make it fucking orange? He ate mustard. Inexcusable. <laughs> the chat says this is inexcusable. <laughs> Fucking fanboys, haha. -ha. I know. The color, the cover color is right. Is it? Let's say. Yeah, that's better. Well, it's not right though, because he's wearing blue. He should be. He should have on red. And also look at that in the game he's got red on and then they're doing the fucking they're doing the blue but the beak the beak color is right <laughs> anyway all right guys that's it that's ducktales see hang on a second here's your here's your accurate colors boom those are the colors it should be just saying but in the game it is right there that's correct but the front, this shit, this shit is not, I, I'm not down with that. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.